Welcome back.、Uh, in the previous video, we already discussed the self-correction mechanism.、Uh, basically, we're saying that、um, you know when an economy steps into a recession,、uh, even without the government intervention, it will be able to you know go back to its normal kind of long-term track. Okay.、Um, of course, a Keynesian economist would. A、uh, question, you know, how long that process will take, right?、Uh, and if it's too long, then it's that classical quote, you know,、uh, in the long run, we're all dead, right? So、uh, the timing here、uh, is very important. Okay, and following that direction here, we're gonna dig deeper in talking about the timing and the lagged effects of stabilization policies. Okay. In other words, when、um, these fiscal and monetary policies could be made, okay, by the Congress, for example, and、uh, when they would be implemented, okay, and we're gonna say that you know,、um, oftentimes these policies could be made and implemented behind、uh, the recession, or in some cases could be far behind the recession, okay. All right. Now、uh, we're going to talk about、um, uh, several reasons why this could cause,、um, you know, a lag effect. So the first one would be the recognition lag.、Uh, that means how much time it takes to identify a recession. Okay. As we said before,、um, the first thing a doctor, a, a physician would do. Uh, when he or she sees a patient, is to do the diagnosis, right? To identify the cause of the disease, right? So as economists, we have to do the same thing. Okay, even before the policymakers come in trying to make some big decisions, the economists got to make sure you know the economy has already stepped into a recession, right? So technically speaking, there are、um, two ways at least、uh, we can define a recession. The first method is、um, if our GDP、uh, declines over the two consecutive quarters, then we would say, you know, the economy has already stepped into a recession. Okay, two quarters of negative growth of GDP. In a row, all right. For example, the first quarter of 2022, we saw that the U.S.、Uh, GDP shrunk by 1.4 percent. Okay, if it continues to shrink in the second quarter of, of 2022, then we could say the the U.S. economy has already been、um, into a recession. Okay. Obviously, this way to identify a recession would be half a year delayed, okay? Because remember, the, this example we just mentioned, the economy actually stepped into the recession at the beginning of 2022, right? But just to be able to see two consecutive、uh, quarters of negative growth of GDP. We have to wait till the end of June or early July, when the government reports the second quarter GDP growth. We would be able to know that the economy has already been in the recession, right? So there's a half a year delayed, right? Half a year matters, okay?、Uh, because we, if we, you know, got to do some fiscal and monetary policy response. Then we want to do that as quickly as possible, okay? Because the quicker, then、uh, the easier、uh, we're gonna fix the the problem, okay? And、uh, so we have the second method, which is the MBER's official declaration. Okay, MBER stands for the National Bureau of Economic Research. I believe we mentioned this before, right? Several times already. MBR is a private, non-profit research organization, 
it has zero um, um, relationship or affiliation with the federal government. Okay, so it's completely independent. It consists of a group of is, uh, established economists and statisticians. They collect the information, all kinds of the information from different sources, and they process, they analyze this uh, information, and eventually they will define the start and end dates of each recession in U.S. history. All right? Now, for example, uh, they de declared uh, the pandemic-induced recession in June 2020. All right? But ironically, you find that the recession actually started in February and ended in April of that year. In other words, if we look at the starting date, um, when NBR declared the recession in June, it has already been um, four, four months, right? If we look at the ending day, uh, ending month, which was April, um, so the NBR's declaration has been two months after the recession actually ended, right? Um, so if you think, well, probably just because of the pandemic, you know, the NBR didn't do a, a good job. You know, it's totally out of our expectation. Even the public health experts would not know, you know, how much of the damage the pandemic could cause uh, to our economy, right? Unfortunately, this is the fastest declaration uh, the NBR ever declared okay, or made. I'm sorry. So, um, for example, if we look back the previous um, uh, financial crisis or the Great Recession, okay, uh, NBR announced the Great Recession in December 2008 which was a full year after the recession has already started, okay? because that recession started in December 2007, okay? right after the uh, bankrupt bankruptcy of uh, Lehman Brothers and uh, AIG. Right? Normally, it took NBR anywhere from half to two years to declare uh, the start and end dates of a recession. Okay. So most economists would believe that, you know, this is just too late to initiate a autonomy um, monetary or fiscal policy response. Okay. Uh, in other words, we've got to find a, a better way, a faster way, okay, so that um, the, then we could at least tell the policymakers, you know, it's crystal clear the economy has already being in a recession, you guys need to make the policies and to respond uh, as quickly as possible, right? And we do have some uh, alternative uh, methods, okay, uh, in terms of identifying a recession. Uh, the first one is a SOM uh, recession indicator, okay? Uh, this is proposed in 2019 by Claudia SOM. Uh, she is a, a, a back then she, she was an economist at the Federal Reserve. Okay? And um, this indicator is defined in a very simple way. Okay? So she says, if the unemployment rate in the form of its three month average is at least a half percentage points above its minimum from the previous 12 months, then the economy is already in a recession, okay? Um, here, notice that uh, we do the three-month kind of the moving average for the unemployment rate to avoid any single event um, shock uh, in a month, okay? Or any kind of outlier, all right? So when we take, for example, um, if today we're in May, right? And then what we will do is we, we already got the April, March, and February's unemployment rate, right? We take the average okay, across these three months. 
and then compare that average unemployment rate with、um, the minimum、um, rate from the twelve、uh, from the previous twelve month. Okay, and、uh, we find the difference between these two. If the difference is greater than or equal to point five percentage points, that means the economy has already been in a recession. Okay. Once again, if、uh, we're saying that、uh, in April,、uh, March, and February,、uh, the average of these three month、um, unemployment rate is four、uh, percent, for example, okay, and、um, in the previous twelve month, we find the minimum unemployment rate is three percent. So we use four percent minus three percent. We get the difference between these two is just one percentage point, right? So that means this economy has already stepped into a recession. All right. Suppose that the three-year,、uh, I'm sorry, three-month moving average of the unemployment rate is still four percent, but when we look at the minimum. From the twelve previous twelve month,、uh, we find that number is four point five percent. Let's see. Okay, so we use four percent, which is the current one, minus the minimum four point five percent. I'm sorry, three point five percent. Three point. I, I'm sorry. It should be three point eight percent. Let's do this. Okay, which is the minimum from the previous twelve month. Then four percent minus three point eight percent, then we get point two percent, which is、uh, lower than this、uh, threshold. Then we would say the economy is fine; it's not in a recession. Okay. Now,、uh, for example, if we apply this to the Great Recession、uh, of two thousand seven two thousand eight, we find that you know the Great Recession actually started in December two thousand seven, right? And the sum indicator would call it a recession at the beginning of July two thousand eight. Okay,、um, that was because you know、um, in June, May, and April of two thousand eight,、um, we already found that you know the、uh, three month moving average of unemployment rate is point five percentage points above its minimum from the、uh, previous twelve month. Okay. In other words, it already crossed the the threshold. Okay. Now you probably notice that this is already like a、uh, seven month after the started、uh, after the the Great Recession already started, right? It's still you know like a little more than a half year delayed. However,、uh, when we compare this with the NBR announcement, it's five month ahead of the announcement. In other words, it's still better than the MBRs than just you know sit in the office and wait the MBR to、uh, figure it out. Okay. And here I would suggest you guys to go to Fred and find the current value of the indicator. Okay. In other words, what you need is just to pull out the unemployment rate chart. Okay. And then you find you know、um, the Uh, most recent uh, uh, three month uh, unemployment rates, right? And then take the average across that and compare it with the minimum uh, uh, from the previous twelve month. Okay. And、um, so bring your answer to the class, and we're going to discuss that. Okay, we're going to check out this、uh, Fred chart together. All right, and see if the economy has already been in a recession. And some also propose that using this indicator to trigger stimulus payments to individuals when the economy is in a recession. In other words, she wanted to make this、uh, kind of the the regular policy, so we don't need to wait the U.S. Congress to decide every time, like you know, to send whether or not to send stimulus、uh, payments to individuals. We can just keep checking this、uh, lump, this value indicator, and if it you know goes above the threshold, it's automatically the IRS automatically send the paychecks to the individuals. 
All right.